everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is mandeep and in today's video we are going to discuss knn algorithm knn stands for k nearest neighbor so let me write it k nearest neighbors so uh, this is the first video of uh, our knn algorithm so in this video we are going to understand this algorithm on whiteboard so i will be telling you what knn algorithm is how it actually works and what is the concept or mathematical formulas behind this so let's get started so this is uh, knn stands for k nearest neighbors and this algorithm can be used for regression problems as well as it can be used for classification problem but majorly it is used for classification problem uh, although we can use it for regression as well so uh, what we do in this algorithm is uh, as the name suggests it considers the k nearest neighbors to predict the new data point and the other thing about this algorithm is that this uh, this in this algorithm this our model do not learn uh, the model do not learn during the training do not learn during the training that means model do not try to find the uh, relation among the uh, data points and it do not uh, find the weights during the training it just uh, kind of stores them and while predicting uh, while uh, prediction it uses them so and so there is no uh, no predefined mapping function is there for it so when i say predefined mapping function uh, no predefined mapping function means uh, for example for uh, linear regression we used to have y is equal to mx plus b or c whatever you can say y is equal to mx plus b where uh, this was the function in linear regression uh, so in this algorithm we do not have any such mathematical function behind it so how it actually works let me show it to you so i am going to take an example uh, so what are the steps in this knn algorithm is uh, first step is we define the k uh, take some value of k let's say uh, so take some value of k of k and then uh, we uh, try to find the um, distance between points uh, and then uh, based on the uh, distance we, we uh, kind of assign the class to the new point so these are the three uh, points i will uh, i know this only these three lines will not make a very good clear picture so i'm going to take an example and i will uh, make you understand through this example i'm just writing the steps what are the um, overall steps which are um, kind of considered during the knn algorithm so assume that we have two dimensional data and that data is uh, let's say is presented or kind of plotted on this 2d uh, graph or scatter plot you can say and those data points are appearing something like this way and assume that they uh, so uh, assume that these data points belongs to one class or cluster uh, you can say one class class 1 and these data points belongs to class 2 and assume that we got a new data point uh, for which we want to identify that particular data point belongs to out of we out of these two class to which class that particular data point belongs to assume that that data point comes somewhere here uh, we kind of you know uh, take x and y value and we just kind of plot here and that point comes here let's say when we draw that point on this uh, 2d graph 
so how this knn algorithm works so for let's say for this example first step was uh, identify the value of k and uh, this is taken on random basis so assume that let's say i have taken k as 5 in my first step and the second step is that uh, we are given with uh, this new data point and we are uh, we are going to identify that this data point belongs to this class or this class so for that purpose what we are going to do we are going to identify we are going to find the distance uh, how far the distance is uh, of this da this data this point is from all of these uh, points so uh, and that distance is used here is euclidean distance Euclidean distance I will tell you so um, let me tell you so we will calculate the distance from this point to this point we will calculate this point to this point distance among these point calculate distance among these point and the same way calculate distance of uh, um, this point among all of the data points fine then uh, after finding the distance uh, so assume that for uh, from this, this from this point this uh, this new data point had uh, some distance of let's say 10 uh, unit can be anything let's say 10 centimeter and for these data points let's say uh, it has let's say 2 4 6 2 centimeter 4 centimeter and 6 centimeter and for these two uh, and the same way we calculate the distance uh, of this point from all these points and we calculate it and once we calculate it we pick the 5 uh, since we have taken k as 5 so we take the 5 nearest points which are near to this so assume that let's say uh, so if as per this graph if I go as per this example if I go so These were my data points and this was my new data point which we want to uh, find out whether this data point belongs to this and or this class or this class. These are two different classes. So what we, what we did, we calculated the distance uh, from all of these points and we pick the five nearest data point uh, to this. So uh, these five nearest data points, let's say, comes out to be these three data points are near to this and assume that one data point is near to this and the four fifth so now we picked five data points since we initialized y pi y5 because we initialized k with five so as uh, what whatever the value of k we will pick those number of nearest data point to the new data point for which we want to identify so we pick the five nearest data point and then we will identify that okay out of these five nearest data points four belongs to one two three four belongs to this class class two they belongs to this class and one belongs to this class so that means this point should belong to majority is with the class two so this point belong should belong to class two this point will remain here but the class 2 size will increase it so th this will be assigned to class 2 uh, instead of class 1 so this is how it actually works and uh, as i told you that we calculate the euclidean distance euclidean distance we learned during our school days i can refresh it right now so uh, euclidean distance is calculated something like this way uh, let me clean it so uh, to calculate the Euclidean distance between two points, um, assume that those two points are one point is here and one point is here. So the Euclidean distance among two points will be, so let's say this point have coordinate x1, y1 and this point have coordinate x2, y2. So Euclidean distance between these two points will be x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square and square root of it so this this formula will give me the euclidean distance so the same way we will calculate the euclidean distance of this data point euclidean distance of this data point from all of these data points and then we will pick 
the five uh, if we have initialized k with five then we will pick the five nearest uh, data points if we will have initialized k with three then we will pick three nearest data point so whatever the value of k we will pick those number of nearest data point to the new points for which we want to classify then out of those data point we will see that okay out of these data points these data points belongs to which class so assume that out of five four belongs to this class and one belongs to this class so um, that means the new data point should belong to this class class 2 so this is how uh, euclidean distance and all these things works uh, there are other distances as well which are considered in machine learning uh, those are um, one is like manhattan distance uh, one is mean kowalski distance and one is hemming distance and one is euclidean distance all these uh, all these distances uh, they have their respective formulas uh, we just uh, we just based on those formula we just calculate the distance and then we assign the category uh, or class uh, to that new data point so this is how knn algorithm works this is very very simple algorithm and it can be learned very easily so that's all for today's video on whiteboard thanks for watching it uh, please subscribe my channel uh, for more videos on machine learning thank you bye